Hello once again. Uh, for my class web is back again with another very very crucial question that was tested in the KCP for the year 2019 and it was about construction work that was supposed to be covered in class 8. Now this question uh, required the candidate to construct a parallelogram after being given part of it. Now a parallelogram is a figure that resembles what you can see there. And to understand more about what is a parallelogram, let us look at some of its properties. Now we've got property number one, opposite sides are equal and parallel to each other. Like you can see here, this line here or this side here is parallel to the other side there and these two lines are equal. If you look at this one, it is opposite the other one and the two lines are equal. We also have opposite angles are also equal. This angle is opposite the other one there and those two angles are equal. The same case applies to that angle and the other one there. They are opposite and they are equal. Uh, a parallelogram has two diagonals and they are not equal. If you look at this diagonal joining that corner and the other corner and you compare this one joining this corner and the other corner, you realize that those two diagonals are not equal. This one is longer, the other one is shorter. Now, the two diagonals bisect each other. Once you draw these two diagonals, you realize that they bisect somewhere at the center. To bisect means to cut halfway. Now, before I look at uh, how that question could have been answered, I would request you to subscribe to this channel so that you continue getting more and more worked out examples. Let's go now to how that question could have been approached. Hello once again. I want to use this chance to explain a question that was tested in the KSP for the year 2019 and it was question number 28 and it was about constructing of a parallelogram and this work was supposed to be covered in primary mathematics book 8 page 81 that is the Jomo Kenyatta Foundation and that is where that work was supposed uh, to be. Now about a parallelogram we first of all need to remind ourselves what is a parallelogram and this one is a quadrilateral which have got opposite sides equal they are also parallel and it also has opposite angles which are equal. Now a parallelogram also has two diagonals. It has two diagonals which bisect one another. To bisect means cutting one another at the center. Now let, let's come now to this question. What, have, what was being given was just part of the parallelogram and before we construct it, let us first of all lead the, the question. We are told that the figure below is part of a parallelogram EFGH. Complete the parallelogram. Now the question is, what is the length of half of the longer diagonal? If you look at what you are given here on this uh, parallelogram or part of the parallelogram, we are given E, F, and G but H is not given. And from the properties of a parallelogram, we are seeing that opposite sides are equal. So you would expect FG to be opposite another line, EH. And point H is not given. Point H is not given. So the candidate was supposed to locate where H was and complete that figure. After completing the figure, the candidate could have identified the longer diagonal as we are going to do right away. And then from that longer diagonal, the candidate was supposed to measure it and then divide it by two to get the length of half of that longer diagonal. Now to complete this figure, the candidate required a pair of compass and arura. A pair of compass and arura. Before I do this question, I want to talk about this tool, which is called a pair of compass. Now, the pair of compass that the candidate is supposed to use must be effective. 
Now, effectiveness of a pair of compass is determined by the way you fasten that pencil, the way you sharpen that pencil, which should be well sharpened, and also this point here must be well fastened so that whenever you make any adjustment, the adjustment should remain the way you have made them. That is, if you shake your pair of compass, it should not readjust itself. So let us now go to this figure and do the construction. I will begin by locating point H. And to get point H, now that I have got EF and I have FG, I'm expecting EH to be parallel to FG. I'm also expecting EF to be parallel to HG. So to begin, I am going to use my pair of compass and adjust a radius, I adjust a radius that is equals to EF, that is equals to EF, like that. Once I adjust that radius, I make my, my point G to be the center of the circle, and then I make an arc there. Then I come to FG, and then I adjust my pair of compass once again to get a length that is equals to FG. And I should make sure that that length is exactly equals to uh, is, is exactly equals to FG. So once I adjust my pair of compass, then I make my point E to be the center of the circle and I make another arc to cross the first one. Now you will notice that um, E, F, G, now I'm able to get position H where the two arcs have so if I call that point H, it's okay. And then I use, I use my ruler to complete that figure. I use my ruler to complete that figure. And to complete it, I have to ensure that where point E is, is where my ruler is. And where the two, the two arcs have crossed is where my ruler is. And then I draw a line to point E, and then the same, same point where the two arcs have crossed, I use my ruler once again, and I draw another line to join to G. This time you will find that my parallelogram is now complete, with opposite sides parallel and equal, Opposite sides parallel and equal. Now, the next thing now to answer the question is to get the diagonal of the longer side, or the longer, uh, the diagonal of the longer, uh, the, 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 the diagonal which is longer. Now, to do that, I have this point E and I have point G. If I join E and G, I'll make a diagonal there. I can also make another diagonal F H or uh, H F. And if you compare these two diagonals, it is obvious that diagonal H F is longer than diagonal E G. So let me first of all draw that diagonal and then I will measure it. Let me draw that diagonal and then I will measure it. That is now the diagonal of the, uh, that is the diagonal which is longer. And using my ruler, I can measure that diagonal, I can measure that diagonal, and according now to the measurement that I have, it is about 7.4 centimeters. Now with 7.4 centimeters, 7.4 centimeters, I'm supposed to get half of that longer diagonal. So I should divide this one by two. And once I divide this one by two, I should get something to do with 3.7 centimeters, which is already available as choice 
A. Well, that is the way the candidate could have approached that, that question, and he or she could have obtained the correct answer as A. Thank you very much for viewing this video.